Hi there, welcome to another render demo how to draw video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a witch. So let's get started. So this one's going to be a little bit complicated, but don't worry, we'll do this together and we'll get through it. So what we want to do is our witch is going to be standing vertically like this. And we're going to start at the top of our page and we're going to draw the witch's hat. So what I'm going to start with is a shape like this, kind of like a pointy shape like this. There's going to be a little bend in the front. That's going to tilt up and it's going to bend over to the right like that. Now about in the center, we're going to come up like this, kind of on both sides. And then we'll draw kind of a straight line across. And then inside of that, just a little bit on both sides, we will draw a line up. So this one over here will be somewhat vertical. And this one over here will be a little bit on an angle like this. And then at the top of the hat, it's gonna have a little bend in it. So it's gonna kink over like that. It's gonna get a little bit point here. And then we're gonna point it over to the right like that. Okay, next, we're going to draw the forehead section of our witch's head. So right about here, we're going to start with a curve like this, like a C, something like that. <clears throat> and then the witch's hair is going to come from here, almost towards the lower section like that. We're going to come over and to the left about that far, maybe a little bit longer. And we're gonna come in a bit. And then on this side, we're gonna start roughly about here. And we're gonna go over to the right a bit. A similar angle as the hat right here. A little bit over there, and then we'll come down. And this will be about the same length as where the hair comes back in over here. And then what we can do is we can just draw a faint line like this. And then we'll draw another line right about here that kind of connects to that. And if you want to add like a little bit of up and down pointy shapes for the ends of the hair. All right, next, let's draw the rest of the head. So what I'll do first is I'm going to draw an eye. So we'll draw a circular eye right here like this, about that big. And the next eye is going to be straight with a partial curve because right over here, the nose is going to come out and extend past the hair and it's going to point and come back in. It's going to be bent a little bit and then it's going to be rounded like this. And then right about here where the nose is, we're going to come down and then we're gonna point right about here. And we're gonna draw the chin. So we'll do like this round shape like that. And then a second one. And then the chin is gonna go back over to about here. And then it's gonna have a curved shape like that. And then over here is the mouth. So we'll draw a line like this, it goes down. Okay, next we will draw the, the body portion. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go right from where the chin is and we're going to come down about this far and then we're going to come down slightly towards the left and then we're going to bend it further to the left like that. So I would say about if you go measure your head and the hat, do about one, maybe two of those lengths. Okay, so here's one, two roughly, and we'll come down this way. And then right about here where the hair is, we'll draw the arm. So we'll come over like this, and we'll do another one like this that curves in, but it tapers and gets wider. And then here, we'll come up 
and then we can add like a little break in there. And then we'll finish off the lower part of the, the jacket here of the body. So right about here, we'll come over and swing this over to the right. And then these can kind of connect together and have a little bit of a bend over there, like a break. Bottom's kind of like torn. Now let's finish off the other arm here. So this arm's going to be holding a, a little witch's uh, brew bucket over here. And then on this side, she'll be holding a, a broom that's going to be up and down. So this arm's going to kind of stick out to the left. So right from the chin, we'll do a slight curve like this. And we'll come down somewhere about the same level as this. And then we'll have a couple like little bends like this. Just like that. Okay, now let's go back to the face. And we'll add another circle, smaller one on the inside of that eye. We'll do a small one for the other eye. We'll put some warts on the nose. Maybe something like that. And then we'll finish off the mouth. So this was the beginning of the mouth. Now what we'll do is to the lower part of the nose, okay, we're gonna come up like this, and we're gonna come down, and then we're gonna come over. There's gonna be another line like this. And then we'll do one lower tooth, and then we'll do the corner of the mouth like that. And then we can add a couple eyebrows. So I'm just gonna draw these like pointy, one pointy shape to the right, and then it's thick and pointy to the left. I'll also draw a little buckle shape for the top of the hat, just like that. Okay, the next step, we will draw the hands and feet. So let's start with this hand over here. So we're gonna draw from this length here, that's gonna be the widest opening part. So we'll draw the thumb. So we're gonna do the shape that kind of points down like this. And then there's gonna be a wrist that does that. And then there's gonna be like, we'll just do like three fingers sideways. And that's gonna be kind of like holding the, um, the broomstick. All right, let's jump over to this hand over here. So this one, what we'll do is we'll start about here and I'm gonna do this curve like this. And then we'll do a smaller one. So one, two, and then this last one will be like this and then we'll have one coming like that. And then we'll bend one, like the thumb shape over there. Okay, now let's jump over to the feet. So we'll add some tiny little pointy feet. So we'll do this, we'll go over to the left and then we'll have a, almost like a smiley shape and then the heel part, that'll just go up and we'll do the same thing over here, another one. So we'll come over pointy, it'll come down, then there'll be a heel and it'll point up just like that. All right, now let's start getting in the broom handle. So what we'll do for the broom handle, so it's gonna be holding like a stick. So we'll just draw this stick that has like the bump in it, like this. And up over here, it's gonna be kind of like, you know, branches that have like splits in it, like that. And then the broom handle is gonna extend down now we're gonna have the, the broom pieces here that you sweep with. So we'll just extend this down to roughly about there. And then what we can do is we can draw this like kind of a triangular shape that doesn't connect at the bottom just yet. But then what we can do is we can draw like a rectangular shape. And then over here, this will kind of flare out 
and on this side you'll kind of flare flare out like that and then you can kind of do something like this at the bottom just like that okay so there's our broom stick all right now we're going to do the pail that she's holding so we'll start with a handle that goes through her fingers okay so we're going to draw this shape like this kind of if it would continue through it kind of does that right it's curved like this and then we'll do a thickness to it so something not too thick enough just to kind of grab and hold just like that now we're going to do this elliptical shape okay so we're going to start right on the side and we're going to come down like that and then we're going to do a secondary line like this and then we'll extend that all the way through just like that okay and now the lower part of the bowl will be rounded so we're going to come from either end a little bit and then this will be a round pull like that and then we can add a little highlight shape just like that okay and then now we can add some details for the hair something like this and that is all for our which now I'm going to go and just erase a few lines here and then I'll use my ink pen and I'll marker this all up and then we'll go and add some color so we'll be back in a second So there you go, we just drew a witch in a few mediocre kind of steps, but yours I'm sure looks just as cool as ours does. We went ahead and drew a green witch with a brown outfit. Uh, we have a broomstick with, with the bristles at the end, some golden bristles, and then there's a red cauldron um, of maybe like a witch's potion or witch's brew that's in there. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel down below so you can see new videos coming up. And we will see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.